I just want to say, go into the comments and type, I just subscribe. Once a week, I'll be putting all you guys in a dedication shout out video. Peace and love. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dog Skin Ambassador. I want to put you guys on to uh, a, one of my favorite YouTube channels, if not my favorite YouTube channel. This channel is called The Say in the Center, uh, brought to you by a guy from Los Angeles by the name of Marquette Devon Burton. Um, I've been watching this guy for about a year. Um, he's totally different from anyone else on YouTube as far as financial advice. Um, advice on discipline, how to navigate this world being a black man, a successful black man, a literal articulate black man. And as far as um, male female relationships, he has a unique story. And I would suggest anyone who wants to further enlighten themselves or have another YouTube channel to be entertained by the saint in the center, look bro up. Um, I'm not a hater and it's part of my job as being an inspiration to people to inspire other people to look at other things that may um, entertain them or help them in ways that I cannot. Being that he's in the higher uh, current status than me. But um, I seen a, uh, a topic that he spoke on yesterday. And the question was, should your girl check your phone? And I want to say that I agree with his response. And the response is, hell no. Um, the reason why I say hell no is because in my opinion, and speaking from experience, because I used to be that guy who um, would allow a woman to look at my phone, have my password. This was eons ago, you know, before I started letting my nuts hang. And really, a woman who, who wants to look in your phone, for one, she's very insecure. A woman who's seriously insecure and is literally trying to catch you dealing with another woman, to me, some part of her wants to deal with a man and she's looking for an excuse to do it. Cause we all know when a woman catches a man cheating, there's no way she's gonna stay with that dude and not get him back in some way. Like she's gonna suck some dude off. She's gonna kiss some dude in a party. She's gonna have sex with some guy, maybe even have an affair. And she's gonna find a passive way to let you find out on purpose. Because the only way a woman gets caught is when she wants to get caught. So that's my first thing. My second thing is, bitch, you don't pay my phone bill. So you don't have a right to be on my phone at all. I mean, when you're dealing with a woman, ideally, you have to understand that she will go through your phone at some point if you leave it around her, which is wrong. But you shouldn't even, as a man, feel like you even should have to have a password because your business is your business. Just like her business is her business. And speaking from a man with experience, when you want to go through a woman's phone yourself, even if it's something small, you will find something that will upset you. There's no such thing as a woman just having a clear phone, a clear non-suspect um, phone, whereas she's not having at least small talk with another guy. Even the ugliest and fattest women get approached and hollered at by dudes via social media, I would assume at least once a day, like at least one time a day. Um, also, if you want to allow a woman to go through your phone, she's showing a scarcity mindset. So if she's showing a scarcity mindset that she might lose you, there's ways to play off that and make it work to your benefit. Also, if you want to go through a woman's phone, you are showing a scarcity mindset. You are showing a simp persona. You don't ever want to show a simp persona. Women realize you're showing a simp persona and they feed off that. They will test you. They will test the limits of your jealousy. They will see how far they can go. You give a bitch an inch, she'll try to take the whole goddamn equator on your ass. It's just as simple as that, man. I feel like, mind your business. Do you pay my bill? No. Did you 
buy this phone. No, mind your business.